What's, what's happening, fam? LA, I'm moving, still moving. Black on black crime fallacy. I just did one, nigga. It fucked up. Okay. Rule number one. People say black people are more violent. When a, when a large majority of black people in jail are in jail for nonviolent offenses. Over 50, over 60, over 70%. Over 70%, close to 80, around 80% of black people in jail are in jail for nonviolent offenses. So, question is, if 20% of, uh, 20 roughly around 20% of our people are in jail for nonviolent offenses, it means 20% 20, 20 of our people are in jail for violent offenses then. How many, of those, how many, what percentage of those people have already been exonerated? Like, you know, people like Brian Banks, which rape is a violent offense, who six years later gets exonerated. You know, people like, uh, shit, this is some fuck, we can go with it. Like, even the, the story of Hurricane, if y'all remember that movie, violent offense, right? Why I'm saying all of these things is, when you look at other races of people, you gotta ask how many of those people the percentage of people in jail for violent offenses. I can promise you it's over 20% of the people in jail for violent offenses. I promise you that. Now the other thing, why do black men commit so much crime? You can be arrested for any fucking thing. You can't be convicted for everything you're arrested for. Now, I say that because if I'm a black man. Sometimes I'm six times more likely, ten times more likely, fifteen times more likely, or even or even twenty times more likely to be suspected of something or arrested for something. So, if at the mo at the least I'm six for six times more likely to be arrested than somebody, and at the at the most I'm twenty times more likely to be arrested than someone. Guess what? Of course I'm going to get arrested more than somebody because I'm already being profiled to be something at a higher rate. We're not talking a one-for-one -one ratio. If we were talking a one-for-one -one ratio, that's why people bring up, well, okay, y'all don't commit the most crimes, but proportionally, okay, well, proportionately, we're accused of way more crimes. Proportionately, we're exonerated for way more crimes. Proportionately, we're acquitted or let go or not even convicted of way more crimes. Now, at the end of the day, another thing goes into play with this. Somewhere along the line, we have to admit you don't have to admit, because, you know what, I'm talking to non-black people and I say you have to admit. Let me explain something to you. Forget it. Forget y'all now. I'm not even going to sugarcoat stuff with y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all irrelevant. These other people have a lot of white on white crime. That's why white people from other parts of the world come here doing Boston bombings and shit. That's why white people who live here go off doing this Sandy Hook shit. That's why white people go off and do this Aurora, Colorado shit. That's why you got white people who have like standoffs in Waco. That's why you got the Columbine shit. That's why you got, you know, the, the, the Oklahoma City bombing. That's why you have shit like this. And, and I'm leading, and that's the, and those are, in a, in a sense, big case. I'm not even talking about the shootouts. Hell, there was shootout, shootouts with white people in my neighborhood. Uh, you know, it wasn't out of my neighborhood, but my community. They don't put that shit on the news. Why? Because they're precious white people. They have the dignity of acting like they have no reason to shoot other white people. Get the fuck out of here. Now, but those are terrible white on white crime scenarios. And then you're going to say, well, some of those had a few black people sprinkled in there. So, oh, oh, motherfucker, it is not. No. They went to kill white people. Don't bullshit yourself. You know? Uh, at the end of the day, every community normally commits crime in their area, i.e., yeah, it's going to be white on white crime because they're in a white neighborhood, black on black crime because they're in a black neighborhood, Asian on Asian crime because they're in an Asian neighborhood, hmm, Middle Eastern on Middle Eastern crime because they're in a Middle Eastern neighborhood, Hispanic on Hispanic crime because they're in a Hispanic neighborhood. Like, we can go with, along with this dumb shit all day long. So, 
at the end of the day, it's all bullshit. Now, if you really want to say, well, I mean, what is the solution for stopping black and white crime? Cool. I think we as a rights people need to get out the drug game. That'll end it right there. Because once you get out the drug game, you get out the, you get out the illegal handgun game. Not fighting for territory. No violence. Bam. That happens, this country will go to shit. Because, because to be perfectly honest, then what happens if we went as a community? And I think I, I think I sh I got a plan. I'm gonna make another blog about that. I'm gonna make another blog about that. Y'all have a good day. Peace.